Oh, okay. Gonna give, gonna give, gonna give Twitch a few minutes to start up. Okay. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Alright. Now we're good, we're good. Hi. We're gonna stream for a little bit. Uh, and we're gonna... I just finished... <laughs> I just finished Telltale's uh, The Walking Dead Season 3. And, uh, I have a lot on my mind while it's still fresh. I want to talk about it, but first things first, let's let's get things in order. Welcome everyone, whoever has been keeping up with our Bloodborne series. Thank you for watching. Um, uh, right now, I think our goal is um, well. Okay, before I get into my whole Walking Dead thing, by the way, full spoilers on that. Um, I was looking back on my my footage. That I have. Oh wow! I'm really close to the camera. Oh, because I was sitting down here. Anyway, uh, I I am talk. What? Huh, that's weird. That's not- he's not supposed to be here. He's supposed to be over here. Right? Huh. Like, I- I, I don't know. I don't know what that- I don't know what that's about. Well, anyway, um, lost my train of thought there. Uh, I was looking back through old footage that I had of uh, of Bloodborne when I played it the first time, and I did these bosses all out of order. So I just beat Rom, just to recap what happened last time. I beat Rom, the vacuous spider, and that's why the Hunter's Dream looks like this now. That's why the Blood Moon is out in full form. That's why I have this sweet outfit. I apparently did Rom last. So, so now we're going to have to go back and clean up. Um... Anyway, so, so because I opened up all my pathways forward before I beat Rom, I have a ver I have a variety of choices to go to. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and go to um, Yar Ghoul, the unseen village. Uh, but that's that's all I wanted. That's all I wanted to uh, get to for today. Um, so, hopefully I won't lose my train of thought. Um, so The Walking Dead Season 3. Boy, oh boy. Have I got a lot of... <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna say I hated it. I will say that the formula itself is getting tired. Um... Once again, full spoilers on everything The Walking Dead, um, the Telltale games at least. I, I've stopped watching the series a little while ago, pretty much for the same reason as uh, I don't care so much about the video games right now. It, 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 it has something to do with the fact that the, the, it's, it's getting a little samey, where... You're, you're gonna have that, um, you're gonna have that moment playing those video games where you start to see, like, the, the themes are, are, like, not only are they similar, they are exactly the same. Oh, God. Um. There she is. Uh. And, uh, honestly... So, so the the formula for like the video games has been pretty much um, you as a player character run into uh, a settlement that's doing pretty well for itself, and you as a main character basically by being there just fuck shit up for everyone, and and you just become this harbinger of like like the plot progresses forward because you decided it'll go forward. If you had just decided to leave these people alone, alone they would be fine, but. 
it, it, it sucks being in that position because it happens every single time. They did this with Walking Dead Season 1, they did it with Walking Dead Season 2, and they did it again with Walking Dead Season 3. They did do something interesting where uh, Clem, Clementine, the basically your, uh, I, I don't want to say like, like the, your reason for progressing the plot. Uh, the fact that they are acknowledging the effects that this would have on a character like that is is pretty refreshing quite honestly because they could have easily just ignored the whole concept of oh clementine's a little bit all just a bit messed up but who cares because it's clementine i will say that they do overuse her as a character like just because she's in the game doesn't mean i'm gonna like the game a lot of people didn't like walking dead season two because of that where yeah i mean she's a cool like in in season two she's a cool like 10 year old girl but I mean, it putting her in the, in control of the player character, and and making her into basically this invincible like like main character, kind of makes everyone else look stupid by comparison. So she's in a group full of adults that just cannot cope, or like make decisions by themselves, and and basically everyone dies because everyone else is too inept to work together. Oh God. And, and, and it re reflects that way. Oh shit. That's why a lot of people didn't like season two, is because sure, it's cool that you're taking control of Clementine for the first time. It, it, although you made her too cool, you made her be like, you you made her be the the solution to everyone else's problem, which I don't think should have happened. I feel like give her like a, a moment of weakness at the very least. I think. <clears throat> I think it's just kind of unfortunate because I personally liked season two. I think it's fine, but I can see why people don't like it. So season three starts up and, and Clem is all sorts of messed up in that way where uh, she she is just She's got PTSD, basically, because she always is the one surviving all these, like, situations. Because she, as a main character, is more important to the story. And I think that's, I think that's what my problem is, is the fact that um, they're making Clementine um, more important than the universe itself. Which is fine for, like, a story purpose. But it's the same thing why people don't like the prequel trilogies for Star Wars. Like... Like, Darth Vader is not that important of a character. Just because you had that big reveal of, Oh, Luke, I'm your father. Uh, he was just some... He, he was just basically a, a Nazi general. And yeah, sure, he was cool because he was like a weird robot dude. But the revelation and, and the importance of the character shouldn't be um, surpassing the importance of the story. You know what I mean? He's not... He's not... Like, it's not called Darth Vader Presents Star Wars. And I feel like the same thing happened where I, for a little bit, I, it felt like um, Telltale Presents Clementine featuring The Walking Dead, you know? And and I, I, I'm, I'm just not a fan of it. And and putting, your, putting the control away from Clementine and giving it to some rando was, it's okay. Fine. So this way you can see like how your actions as controlling Clem affects uh, Clementine herself. Because that's not something that you can do. It's, it's the same problem with a bunch of cool main characters where, um, like, like, like you see them and they're doing, they're always doing cool shit. But as soon as you, the player character, take control of them, they are suddenly just the most inept character in the entire world. So you gotta take player control away from the per from the player, just so that just so that you can remind yourself how cool that character actually is. You know what I mean? Is that making sense? I said player a lot, but my my point being that oh, hold on, I feel like oh god, there's two of them. God damn it. 
Pretty sure this is where I died last time too. Hold on. There's a way out of here. Let me just... Oh yeah. So, so... I'm trying to get in here. I forgot the way up though. I forgot the way forward. Is it this way? No. It's somewhere. I'm gonna have to go around or something. Anyway, uh, playing as this new random character and having to deal with his own problems is, it's fine. I don't think Walking Dead Season 3 needed Clementine, although it was interesting. It was nice to see Clementine again, but I don't think we needed her in the game. And I feel like putting her in the game kind of weakened the story a little bit because now it just as soon as Clementine showed up in the story, part of me just felt like, okay, I'm just gonna do like whatever Clementine says because because I know this character. Out of all the people, I care about this one. Shit. And and honestly, it's 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 the big it's the big problem in the video game is the entire time when, like, I tried really hard to play it straight, so this character has nothing to do with Clementine. Ha you play as a guy named Javier, and you you have no relation to Clementine at all. You could have no possible idea, like, who she was, right? So I tried, I tried to play it as straight as I could. But a lot of the times, it just felt like, why, why wouldn't I agree with Clementine? She makes the most sense. Um, in this whole game and it was hard to distance myself from it, it was hard to distance myself from um, deciding by my characters by the character's own motivations and just agreeing with whatever Clementine says because honestly a lot of the times not only does Clementine make more sense she it, it's just you know she as the player character that I controlled before you know as, as a character that I know from the previous game why wouldn't I want her to be awesome? Because I know for a fact that there was already going to be a season 4. And they can say last season all they want, depending on how well the, the game goes. I'm sure they'll have, like, Walking Dead side stories or something like that. I, I don't believe for a second they will keep beating this dead horse until it stops spitting out money. Uh, I I just so by putting yourself in by putting the player character in the shoes of someone that's new to the whole thing and new to Clementine is a bit interesting. I see what they were trying to do there, and I tried to play it as best as I could. But honestly, um, I, I I don't think it paid off. I mean, at the end of the day, even as much as I wanted to disagree with Clementine, a lot of the times I was just like, oh yeah yeah definitely do. just do this because I know Clementine will you know, will like this decision that I've made, you know? So a lot of it had to do with... A lot of it really just had to do with, um... <sighs> uh, a lot of it had to do with, with just what I thought would be best. Because they did the same thing with, um, with Walking Dead Season 1 and season two where like you have like all these innocuous decisions that you know you don't think would matter but in the very end they show you the statistics and then you play the next game and it's like oh those little things did matter which was really neat but um like like stats that i didn't know they were even keeping track of like there's some things men mentioned in season three that i didn't know they were keeping track of which i thought was was cool you know the fact that they would the fact that they would talk about that again even though it, it, i thought i didn't think of anything of it so when Clementine was in the scene, it, it felt like I just had to follow suit with whatever she wanted to do. Let's see if I can sneak up on this guy. I don't think I can. I can. I can sneak up on this. So there's another um, pair hunter fight. Shit. So there's three of them. Oh damn it. 
Oh, and if I go too far over here, there's an old lead that'll kick my ass. I'm pretty sure he stays dead though, so that's awesome. Holy shit. Sorry, I'll continue my discussion. I'm just, I'm trying to focus. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I didn't- I'm not gonna say I, I hated the season. Honestly, I, I thought it was better than Walking Dead Season 2. I'm not gonna say it's it's a great improvement, but I, I will say that it, it, it was cool playing a game where um, it, it felt like my decisions did matter at the very end of the day. And honestly, as, as little as the decisions were regarding Clementine at the very least, I got to make those decisions. And I'm fine. I'm fine with the way that the game went. Because uh, they knew at the very end of the day that I was just keeping track of how Clementine felt about everything. Honestly, they, they show you a big stat at the very end. It's like, oh, your Clementine is now awesome. And they show you just basically a little cutscene of like how, like how Clementine is reacting to the whole situation. And quite honestly, that's all I needed. I just, that's all the payoff I needed. I didn't care, uh, honestly, about Javier or his family. And I think that's the weak part of Season 3, is that they focus so much on um, Clementine's, uh, like, her obsession with, like, uh, keeping a family, which I didn't see from, honestly, like... I mean, I guess I understand where, what they were going for, you know, like, Cl Clementine lost her family in Season 1, so honestly she would be trying to get that, get that back. Fair. But, I don't think my Clementine would um, sacrifice everything just so that um, someone else would, you know, like, I, I, I don't see, it, it's, 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 it's going against um, my Clementine's character values. I'm gonna die, damn it. I almost killed that guy, too. Oh, it's almost as frustrating as The Walking Dead Season 3. <laughs> It didn't feel like the characters were going anywhere. So it, it, in the midst of trying to make sure that Clementine is getting what she wants, I ended up kind of disregarding a lot of the other characters. Anytime a new character got near her, I was just like, you, you stick far away, right? The whole time, the whole time. Oh, I didn't know, I forgot about this one. Damn it. All right, please drop a chunk. Yes! I can upgrade to plus 7 now, I think, at the very least. Um, and I'm just gonna run. I, I, I just... I don't know. Oh, this guy's just gonna come back to life, I'm pretty sure. Oh, he's gone. Okay, cool. Um, anyway. Where's my souls? There it is. It's very important. The moon rune. Where is that guy hiding? Because he spawns behind. But where? There you are. Oh, almost got me there, buddy. His uh. reach. Can't have that. Let me focus on you. So that, that's the cool thing about this fight is there is three of them, but oh my god, he hit me with a cannon! Anyway, 
That guy's awesome. He's holding the rifle spear, which is a, a weapon you get from uh, Kanehurst, I believe. Really cool, but it is a spear, and I'm, I'm not very good with the spears. It's all, it's all centralized stabbing, and I like, I still like my hunter's axe. Uh, it's got a big sweep. I wish, I, I wish I could spawn back there though, but I, I don't know if you could tell, but I walked over. So that's where, um, remember when we got kidnapped, um, and I, I was able to get out of here by going through there. That was the, that was the lamp that I used to get out of there. And, um, yeah, they broke the, they broke the lamp. So someone twisted it, which I guess makes sense because you don't need two lamps in, in one area. Anyway. Did anyone follow me? Cool. No? Alright, where's my souls? It's right in the middle. Of course it is. Holy shit. Oh my god. Let's let's stay close to um let's stay close to to this area. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> I got stuck on the staircase! <laughs> Fucking guy! <coughs> what did it leave? Ugh. So, I, I, I guess just to break down my, my complaints with Season 3, the new characters aren't really strong. Javier is kind of this blank slate kind of guy, which honestly, as a new player protagonist, fine. Fair enough. Right? You as the protagonist ha have to have free con free reign of this guy. So, fine. I will accept that Javier is like silent protagonist man. Or, you know, he can be hot-headed if I needed him to. Or, he's just... He's, he's calm, cool, collected guy. Which, you know, kind of boring, but whatever. But everyone else around him that is supposed to have a personality just doesn't. You don't have one. Um, and I don't, I don't get it. Because, because sometimes it feels like I'm making progress with, with the character's progression. And it never, I've never seen it as, as um, strong as this one. Where, like, like moments that I think would like pay off at the end, they just, Either they just don't give you the option to um, follow up on decisions, or they just they, the only options they give you is to be angry, be angry, or be even more angry. You know, like it doesn't it didn't feel like I had a choice in in a lot of situations, and I think that's the unfortunate part. Because I feel like they could have done a lot with these characters. Like it's not. The problem isn't that they're, um, like, fully, like, full-fledged. They're, a lot of them are, like, straight up just one-dimensional. And, um, despite showing hints of, of character, um, character development, they just, they just go back. Oh my god! He has that? What I what even is that? Oh. Um, in particular, uh, your, your character has brother, his name is David, and he is, um, stereotypical Kenny character. Kenny from the previous Walking Dead is kind of this guy who's all about, I gotta save my family, and you get the boat memes, because all he cared about in season one of The Walking Dead was, I gotta get to a boat so I can save my family, and, and he's kind of hot-headed, and, and he's very... He's very guided onto this one, this one um, goal that he has. Uh, so Kenny was was a was a good character in the sense that people were kind of divided on him. People weren't sure. Like, you know, some people agreed with like a lot of Kenny's motivations. Like, yeah, of course, your family, sure. And I feel like they were trying to they were trying to do the same thing with with David. Oh, I need to get my souls back. Excuse me. Um, a lot of the, a lot of the time, it felt like they were trying to do something. 
anytime they did something new with David, it just felt like they were just trying to rehash Kenny again. Oh my god. These guys know how to get around me. Shit. Maybe I should level up. <laughs> maybe I should maybe I should just level up. So some of the episodes in, in um, season three started with a flashback from before the outbreak that kind of shows how your relationship with a lot of the characters changes. So sometimes you and Kate have these moments of, oh, maybe Kate doesn't love her husband and maybe, um, maybe she has a thing for you, you know, or, or, or maybe David just hates you, so you should hate him back. And a lot of the times it's like, oh, okay, so maybe I should try to fight these urges. So a lot of the times I, I chose some decisions that are like, oh, okay, so I'll try to get along with David here. And and a lot of the times it, it doesn't, uh, it honestly just doesn't pay off because um, some things I feel like I, I'm trying to play the character as I think they should be played. And despite this, everyone just gets angry at you. And I guess that's a problem that a lot of people had with some seasons of The Walking Dead where like, a lot of your choices don't matter. And I guess that's a problem with these types of games is trying to come up with like multiple pathways for the character or for the player rather to take. But at the end of the day, you still have to have a video game that has an ending. And if it splays out too much, then you're creating a bunch of work for yourself. And a game like this where, where dialogue is like the main thing, I feel like people would have a hard time um, trying to come up with like uh, trying to come up with, with ways to make that interesting, but at the same time ending out at the same place. So The Walking Dead Season 2 was kind of interesting in the way that you could have multiple endings, but the, at the end of the day, I guess it didn't really matter un unless you had the baby. So the whole crux of Season 2 is um, you having the baby. And I guess I should seen, I should have seen that because um, all of the endings involved you holding the baby, <laughs> you know? Time to bail. <laughs> um, so a, a lot of the, all, all the endings pretty much had had to do with you um, taking care of the baby. But 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 like like characters that that were with you at the end of the game didn't even make an appearance at all. Like Molly, for instance, who who was a big um, like polarizing character in season two, as in like um, you had to choose for, between her and 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 Kenny. Pretty much. Come on, die. Okay, that's all I needed. Okay, now I can handle you by myself. That's all he drops. Or can I? Can I even handle you by myself? Wow. He's strong. He can only have so much of that. I got you now, motherfucker. Oh, I died. Damn it. I, I guess I don't have you. I got all your buddies though, I, I killed you all your friends, and now it's just a one-on-one -on -one fight. As long as I remember to pick up my souls, I should be good. That's at least a level. <laughs> um, what else, what else? Um, Gabe's kind of an annoying character. He's kind of your new Clementine where you as a player character have to take care of your um, your nephew. You know, you kind of teach him how to survive 
the outbreak, you know, you know, deal with loss. Um, maybe, maybe it'll take multiple playthroughs for me to see it, or at least maybe my decisions make me not able to see it. But a lot of the polarizing decisions that Clementine had to go through, you don't really see. Um, maybe that, the, maybe that did have something to do with the fact that I, I wasn't there to see it. And I feel like if I had chosen differently, I was able to see it. But things like, um, um, th things like Gabe having to kill his own dad, um, happened off screen for me. So that didn't feel quite as strong for me as when Clementine had to, um, had to leave Lee or shoot her, shoot Lee, you know, in the face. Because she had to do that. <laughs> Go ahead and shoot. Oh my god. God. I think he doesn't heal. I feel like this would be a lot more painful if he could heal. Anyway, so there's that. That's that threat done. Um, what do you drop? Just bullets, I guess. Oh, okay. That's what they wanted me to do. They wanted me to parry him. Now I know. Now I know. Um, there. How do I? There's a way for me to. There's a way for me to get back up at the front because that's where I need to go. But oh well. Um, We'll do this, I guess. It's disgusting. It's a pile of bodies. And I don't understand it, actually. There. What does this say? Oh! Oh, someone's shooting at me. <laughs> I was like, did it hurt me being near? I don't remember that. I got shot. This takes me back to, can you guess where? Ta-da! It might not be obvious right now, but if I go over here... Not here. Hold on. Let me just pick this up before I forget. Iron Yar Ghoul Helmet. If I go up... Oh, come on. Where is it? Here. There we go. Ta-da. Shortcut. Let's go cash these in. Um, who was I on? Oh, Gabe. He, being like the new Clementine, I feel like they kind of rushed his character development. They were trying really, they were, felt like they were lobbying really hard to make sure that they, that people cared about this character, which I don't. Um, the little crush he has on Clementine isn't really all that awesome it's just part of me just felt like you, you stay away from my clementine is pretty much how it went uh i, I don't know i i just i didn't like it like him as a character is i felt was kind of weak and um trying to put him in a, in that in, in like putting him in, in that in that like role didn't do the character any service can I buy... no. 
trail you know, oh that's what it's for it's for a bloodstone ritual all right well we're gonna use we're gonna use those um those chunks that we got to get my thing up to a plus seven and that's all i need oh i can do this okay there i'm not gonna use it but oh and we also picked up some carol runes that might be good good i think no not air uh, moon i think is pretty good more echoes from slain enemies yeah there you go instead of frenzy resistance maybe i'll take the moon room and i'll just stick with that <sighs> it's it's so like i i want i wanted the game to ramp up somewhere but part of me just felt like a lot of the times when I'm making these decisions that it didn't matter at the very end of the day. I felt kind of jaded to towards a lot of the decisions that I was making because I knew that no matter what I chose, people would like get angry with it, you know? It, it felt helpless in a sense and I think that kind of says a lot about the way that these games are made. Um, no matter how um, emotionally moving they can make these games, that's all I'm going to think of is, oh yeah, of course, it's just going to, that's all it's going to be. It, it, like any decision I make, whatever will move the plot forward will happen. So um, they did something interesting though. There's a character named Conrad who has like a million opportunities to die, but they, at the end of it all, his whole thing is that he dies. So they did something new there, really interesting, but it didn't matter. And I'm not gonna fault them for, I'm not gonna fault them for, um, for. <laughs> From, for making it end like that, but I will say that uh, I will say that there's like moments where it felt like the characters' motivations kind of I I don't understand them, you know. That's the thing with these characters, like they they kind of they switch sides on you real real quick, so they give you a lot of options to be a bit more polarizing. But at the end of the day, the characters won't respond to these, um, where. You as a player character, so my, so my character Javier is is supposed to be kind of this cocky, like, fine, he was a baseball player, right, fine, but I don't think that anyone should hold it against him if playing baseball make him, makes him feel good, or if if he says something like, oh, like, like there's a bit in uh, episode four or episode three? Where you're, where it, it's a flashback to you in during in the batting cages with your brother, and and you you have the option to like um, hit the hit the ball or, or or swing and miss on purpose, and I'm like, oh, well he's he's good at baseball, of course I want him to hit it, but the game I feel like they didn't want me to do that because every time I hit, the the character around me would be like knock it off for no reason. Like, like, part of it was just, like, unreasonable hatred towards your character. And, and, uh, that's, that's what I, that's what a lot of it felt like, honestly. Like, and, and when we got back to present day, it didn't feel like those, that decision that I made mattered anyway. Because, you know, what, what was, what was the point of it? What was the point of me acting all cocky during playing baseball when... All it did was make him angry during that one bit, but, you know, years later, he's not going to remember it. So I feel like they were trying to do something there, but it didn't really pay off very well. Also, just kind of forcing you into this position of, yeah, sure, like, go out with Kate. Because, because why not? She's like the only woman around, I guess. But, like, reducing her character to that kind of sucks. Um, I, I feel like they could have done something with the character, but at the end of the day, it felt like her, her urgency came out of nowhere. It didn't feel organic. It felt like all she was doing was advancing the plot for no reason. It felt like all she was doing was giving you options to choose from, and if she wasn't there, that it wouldn't have mattered at all. God, still? From who? Oh, really? Oh, it is hitting me. What is that? 
what is this? It's hurting. It was hurting me. Oh. He was praising the blood moon. Um, that's awkward. He's dead. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Ah, more chunks. That's what I need. Ah, frustrating. And Wonder's Treasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, I came here too late. Oh, I forgot about you. Okay. Beware of lore. Huh. Right. If I just throw rocks at these guys one by one, that's horrifying. Oh, frenzy? Or just hurt? That's gross. That should have hit you, but. Jesus, really? He killed me. For it. I don't know why I said he. <sighs> At the end of the day, though, um, part of me had to know. Part of me had to know how Walking Dead Season 3 ended. I mean, I knew they weren't going to kill Clem because they've already... I, I saw, like... I, I saw that they were teasing Season 3. So I was like, yeah, okay. Or sorry, they were teasing season four, rather. So I was like, yeah, fine, fine. I know you guys are gonna, like, they didn't really put you in, like, they, they, they put Clem into the situation of, yeah, she's taking on, she's taking in all the stuff that she learned, but did it matter? Did it really matter? I mean, like, I feel like she was gonna do that regardless. Just, just to give you a, just to give the player a, a chance to disagree with Clem. And honestly, I did disagree with Clem on a lot of situations. Um, a lot of her, a lot of her positive character development kind of went away because the plot needed to progress in such a way that they want you to disagree with Clementine. So, like, these are not, these are not things that my Clementine would have, um, would have made, would have forced Javier to make. I'm not saying that my Clementine was the most you know, well-adjusted uh, human being in the game, I will say that, oh, right, that's what I forgot. I'll come back to that later. Um, I will say that, um, like, like she makes some decisions that, like, clearly, um, decision, not decisions that I would have made. Like, um, like, you know when the game kind of stops timing you from decisions and just tells you, oh, here, pick a side, um, her thing of like, dude, like, I, I need this, you know, she's kind of selfish in a way, and my, and my Clementine would, would never have forced Javier to make such decisions, I, I don't think at least, I'm not gonna say that she was a perfect little angel, but, but I'll say that, I'll say that the, the Clementine that, that they have in season three is a bit compromised in such a way, due to trauma. Also, I didn't like the fact that I was taking I was taking control of some random guy because I don't care about him. He does not matter to me. I feel like I missed something. Anyway. I don't know. All all I know is it's uh, it's 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 not the best that I could have imagined, but it's not also not the worst. Behold the pale blood sky. So that's that's the pale blood moon. And uh, I don't know if anyone remembers from the very beginning of the game, but it's like seek pale blood to transcend the hunt. Yeah, 
there it is. A Yar Ghoul set. So those two guys that I was fighting was from Yar Ghoul. Oh, and this door is open, which is weird. Because again, the store was closed, but I did this. I did this entire game out of sequence. I think it's because I fought Rom that this door is open. Anyway, really, really neat sequence breaking that's happening right now. Eventually, it's time for common sense. Hmm. Right now, I'm just trying to um, farm blood chunks. I guess, while also trying to get my thoughts out. We could go fight a boss right now. Not the most exciting boss in the world, but I kind of kind of want to get my weapons up just because I need to prepare myself for the fight. Leveling up isn't bad either. Oh, I missed an item there. Bolt paper. Ah. That's kin? Alright, I did not know that. Oh, it just pops out the door. That's horrifying. thought it would have been. I wish they would drop something more useful than than not at all this. I don't know what this is all about. Oh, he was alone. Ugh. I, at least I hit him. It's gross. I don't know what this is about, but it hurts me being around it. So I'm just gonna leave it alone. I think this is the Tenitris. Yep. This is also a cool weapon. Very, very here I'll show it to you. Is this one? Yeah, so it's it's just a little like, little, I want to say like little Tesla ball, and its transformation isn't anything other than you imbue it with lightning or electricity rather. So it's 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 a it's an elemental weapon for sure. Real interesting. I never used it, but eh, I'll try anything once. I wonder what that's about. Anyway. Onward we go, I guess. Anyway, that's 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 pretty much the pinnacle of my complaints on on season three. It it's just it's frustrating because it's not hitting it's not hitting the same points that I wanted it to. You know, like, like it could have been something, but it wasn't. Like, I should be excited for a season four, but I'm, I'm just not. I'm just kind of disappointed in the state of affairs where I, I want it to, to reach a point where I'm interested in it again, but it just didn't grab me. So unfortunately, I, I'm going to be playing season four, and it's not going to be out of interest. It's going to be because already invested so much time playing the other ones that I need to know what happens at the end you know like I need to know how they I need to know how they decide to end this to end this series because um, 
I'm not gonna say anything they do will be disappointing. I will say that they have a lot to live up to. <laughs> it could have it could have been done better, but it wasn't. Chunks and shit. Yes. That gets me up to a plus eight. And there's werewolf back here that I can use to get a chunk, possibly. Look, I can't even tell if it's facing me. I don't think it is. That's fine. How many do I have now? I need, um, 13. That's not 13 at all. I can get it once. I can do it once, and then, and then that's it for me. I need... I need six more. I will say it's not the worst that it could have been. I'm not trying to excuse the, the season. I'm still talking about it, by the way. I'm not trying to excuse the season. I, I know that I know that it's had its faults and it could have been better in some regard, but honestly, I'm not going to blame it for what it tried to do. It was interesting, but it's just not interesting enough, and I can see a lot of people dropping off. I wonder where this will take me, because I forgot. was that? It felt like I healed, or like the sound came up, but I didn't do anything. Are you stuck? Oh, Jesus. Well, okay, good. He's gonna fall off the edge, you see that? Jesus Christ. Chunks? No. Useless, useless files. Oh! Here we are. So that room earlier? over here now, I think. Nope, no it's not. I lied. I don't know what this room is. Ooh! <laughs> Scared me. Here's what I'm hoping for uh, season four. I hope they don't. I hope it just doesn't end up being like, oh, Clementine's a badass because you're playing as her. You know? I just don't want that to happen again. I'm so tired of it. Oh my god. I feel like I fucked up. I feel like I should have done this area beforehand. <laughs> I feel like I should have done this area before I fought Rom. I think I rushed it. Who cares? This is new. It's a new experience every time you play it, I guess. Um, I, th I know that this way is how you f how you get to the to the bell ringing woman, but I don't know where she is. There she is. Found her. But I'm not. You're not the bell ringing woman that I was looking for. And unfortunately, these guys respawn every single time. The bell ringing woman, I mean. 
Oh, neato. Is there anything up here other than the boss? I don't care about that yet. I have a bunch of souls on me. Why would I? Why would I go over here? I'll come back to this place later. Um, I have to find out how to get to that area that I was in with a big laser. So let's go. Let's go follow the path that I just ignored. I guess. I don't know where this will take me. Honestly, it might be nothing. I think it's nothing. It's big nothing. There's nothing here. <laughs> but now, ev but now everyone's not invincible, so that's neat. Where is that coming from? Is that all there is? It's just paths. It's just a pathway down, basically. Look at all these people. What was this town like? Where is that coming from? Ooh, god. Oh. Somewhere over there. Oh. You just keep shooting it? Oh, it's him! They have projectiles? That's fucked up. Anyway, this isn't where I want to be yet. Let's go back. I could clear out this entire area, but I don't know if I want to risk that. Then again, it would make the path forward a bit more worth it. I mean, I could level up a few times. Let's do that. I know. I'm sorry that nothing's really getting done. This is the this is the Walking Dead complaint episode. Um, I mentioned earlier that my complaints with The Walking Dead, the series, are, are, is kind of similar to the complaints I have with the games. And, and, that's, and by that I mean... Um, by that I mean the fact that um, your, your protagonist just comes in there and just fucks shit up every single time for everyone. And this happens with every single protagonist you had in The Walking Dead. And this is happening with the show too, and that's why I quit watching the show. Well, I quit watching the show for a variety of reasons, but it, it got a bit too samey. Oh, they're all throwing projectiles at me. Oh, can you get in here? Oh my god. That's scary. Alright, well that's one. Let's not drop anything useful. Your styles, bro. You're dying. You went. You failed. I need. I need you guys to drop something more useful than these gems. Gems are fine, but oh, arcane lake. I bet that'll be useful for me. Oh. Something? Nothing? Oh, and that's it. And that just takes me back to... Back here. Well, there you go. Um, so the boss fight here is called the One Reborn, and he's not as bad. Um, he's just... I don't think it's anything special. It, it, it's a, it's a callback to one of the 
one of the old um, Souls bosses from Dark Souls 1, or sorry, Demon Souls, called the, the Bastille, I think. I, I forget what it's called for sure, but oh, Jesus. That's horrifying. Something happened here. Everyone was abandoned. But, uh, yes. Um, it, it's a callback to, um, not, I don't think it's called the Bastille. It's called something else, that, like something, that Iron Giant or whatever, I don't know. Anyway, not that exciting, honestly. Perfect for me to complain to. Summon Defector on Tall. Hmm. We'll come back to this in case I die because it is it is still a real boss fight after I do it. So so the boss in Darks in Demon Souls is uh, <coughs> it's got he's got a bunch of like um he's got a bunch of like archers or something like fighting him and uh, if you summon someone then they just they just straight up die because because the boss is super weak. So I think I'll I think I'll go back to a bonfire or a lamp rather and just just go from there. What time is it? How long have I been? Oh, I've been streaming for about an hour doing nothing. That would be that would be a good time to fight the boss, I think. And now that I've been complaining about the Walking Dead for a straight hour, it's again it it's not something that I. If you were invested in The Walking Dead, like the game series, I, I would highly suggest just getting up off your ass and just doing it, because you, you have to know, you know? I wish I, I wish I could give it glowing praise, but it, but I just, I can't. It's, I, I wouldn't feel good about it. <laughs> it's certainly not the best in the entire series. That will always, like, I don't think anything can even hold a candle to the Walking Dead season one. If you can, if you can accept um, a, a single, uh, a single experience, um, try try out the Walking Dead season one. It's a good game, and if you can accept that, uh, if you can accept that the story ends at the end of the at the end of Walking Dead season one, then then good for you. You know, I'm not gonna bother. I went the wrong way. Um, that game does end in a cliffhanger, I will say, but if you can if you can live with the cliffhanger that it, that it has, um, and you can just formulate your own conclusions to that story, it's real real easy. The Walking Dead season two is kind of a a slog to get through. Especially if you have very strong opinions of some of the characters from season one, you know, and and they kind of just do the and the new characters just kind of do the same things and the same thing with with with, uh, with season three. Honestly, like a lot of the characters, they kind of they kind of just do the same thing. Oh, and I, oh, I need I need to get Arcane up to um, fifteen, but it's not my priority. So I found out where the soft caps are for. Um, for these for these statistics, so I'm level 63 now. My vit has to be at 40. My endurance, I, th I think, is at um, this the, the cap for it. I think is um, or I might have gone that backwards. I think endurance is is the cap for endurance is 40. Cap for vit is 30, and the strength for, and cap strength is 25. Same thing for skill. I think I, I think I actually messed up. Maybe, but whatever. Um, I, I can put I can put a a little bit to uh, I need one more. I can I can put someone no on endurance. Welcome. Very well, Madam. Oh really? Farewell, good afternoon. Let's see. 
Let's get my let's get my axe up to a level eight. Yeah. You know what, why not? I didn't have enough blood echoes. Okay. Well, that's all that's all I want. Now I think this is where I want to go. Um, let's try looking for something, actually. I still needed to find my way, uh, my way up. Oh, I should have just gone backwards from the other one. Okay, let's... Let's go through a couple more loading screens, everyone, now that I know that I screwed up. Um, hmm. What else is there to say about The Walking Dead Season 3? Um, characters feel one-dimensional. It feels like, it feels like the stakes are, are not as high as they should have been. Characters do some outlandish shit just to get the plot going. Um, I feel like the I feel like the season could have ended like three or four times, but um, characters just kind of do some outlandish shit for no reason, and kind of kind of keep the plot going. I guess like it could have had like two or three endings. There's at least one, but that's at the very end. And there there was like a few where like. The choices you have in, in, like, words you could say, um, did not do you any justice at all. Hold on, I think, I think I know where I'm going. This way, right? where I want to be. Ooh, no. Oh, here, up here. So I gotta kill this guy. That kill? Sure does. Thank you. And now that I have this. Now. Now we can advance the plot. kill the old man for good measure. That guy has a machine gun. And what's in here? Something important, I hope. Tiny Tenitris, oh, I guess. It's just, I think it's just throwable versions of the Tenitris. Hmm. Okay, so that's, uh, that's all I wanted in that area. Where to next? I guess we go fight the one reborn. Why the fuck not? Or we could we could go fight um Amygdala. Actually, let's go do that. Look at this. You're so close to it. Or wondrous tonsil.
Thank you. Thank you, Amygdala. Oh, Amygdala. Alright, so let's... Let's go, let's go fight. Let's go fight Amygdala. There's now a new pathway opened up to me, by the way. Now that I got that key. And that's actually kind of where I want to go because that's where I can upgrade weapons. But let's hold off on that. Let's see how much echoes I can get. Let's, let's do two. I think one more shall do it. I think one more shall do it. <laughs> Frontier. So I, I think I definitely want to fight Amygdala before before I continue on in Yar Ghoul. I know that much. And because the the bell ringing woman is no longer around, so that's my destination down there. I just have to find my way down that pathway. Which, I kinda know how to get there, I just, I got killed by the fucking rock-throwing giants. Good. I've, I feel like I've leveled up adequately for this area. I don't know how to get there. Oh. Duh. Well, that was useful. Now I just have to remember the path there. Why can't I lock onto these guys? Oh god, they're horrifying. I never got a good look at their face. That was bullshit. I hit them and they know it. Oh, I love that bit. I'm not gonna do that though. I know what that bit is all about. <laughs> so, so the game at the beginning was pretty linear, so I was able to map it out really easy where I was going to go and where I shouldn't go. But now that the pathway has opened up to me, there's lots of little places that I could go, so... I'm doing it all out of order, and I apologize if this is confusing to watch. Um, I will try my best to stick to one area. In any case, though. Did I just turn myself? Yeah, I did turn back around. Hmm. Charlie, no, get away from the door. Buddy, come here. On the bed. Go. Hey, friend. Go to sleep, Charlie. Charlie. Go in the bed. Hmm. Dog is not listening to me. Charlie, no, don't, don't start, don't start with me. No, you be quiet. It's enough. I think it's this way? Okay, yeah it is. Oh, Charlie, please don't, please don't, not now. Charlie, 
Hey, cut it out. Cut it out. Be quiet. I don't want to hear it. No. Charlie, no. Alright, let's... let's get out of harm's way real quick for a second. No! Charlie! Get to bed. Go. Let's go to bed. You knock that shit off right now. Hey, hey, what did I say? What did I just say? Who's gonna trigger? No one? No. Oh, right. Hey! I don't know if you saw, but the the bits of the boulder landing also hurt me. I forgot. Yeah, here's the safe spot from this area. How do I get up there? Oh. Ignore you for now. Oh, he de -aggroed. That's all I needed. Charlie, stop it. You stop it right now. Hmm. Shard, not at all useful to me. So here's the shortcut. Eventually take a step forward. Haha. <laughs> so that's uh Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, maybe there's a message right in front of it that it, that'll tell me where it, what it is. No? No one? I'm gonna leave that alone for a second. You know what? Here, here, get out, Charlie. Go, fine. Go ahead. Oh, I had coffee earlier and I metabolized it. Like, it, it sped up my metabolization. My, my metabolization. My metabolism so much that it, 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 it basically made me hungry the whole day. And uh, when I was. when I ate like a whole like piece of chicken I finished it and then I, I was immediately hungry again like I never ate and it was the worst feeling in the entire world I'm sure they're gu guarding something important can I throw a Molotov at them? don't have any Molotovs on me. Well, Geronimo. That's not good. Shit. Feels like I'm not hitting them. Like, I, I feel like there, I don't know if I never noticed it, but I felt like there was like a vibration feedback whenever I hit something, but not them. Oh, frenzied cold blood, that's fine. I thought there was an item over here that's pretty useful. No, nothing, I guess. Oh, stunning deep sea, there you go. A giant, huh? How do I get to you, friend? I guess I don't. There's that path forward.
Oh my god. I wish it would drop something useful. Alright, which way am I going? This way, I think. No. It's a nothing. It's a big nothing. Which way am I supposed to go? I saw a pathway that had like an item sticking alongside of it. Oh, oh, this is how you get to the, um, to the lady. But I just, I just threw Molotovs at her until she died. God. Okay, hang on. Not for sure I saw the path forward. It might have been crazy. Clearly not this way. Might be. Oh! I think it is. Give me one sec, get my dog. Okay. Here we go. Oh! Yes. That guy causes frenzy by looking at him. Which means I got him fast. So he causes frenzy regardless. You, you just gotta make sure that you kill him. Charlie, no! Oh, here we go, yeah. Oh, so that's a bigger version of those, um... Th those little, like, hair clumps, which I looked up, and the last time I think I remember saying that they looked like, um, they looked like if Madman's Knowledge was, like, a physical item in the world, and it turns out that's pretty much all they are. It, they're like physical manifestations of uh, man-man's knowledge. Charlie, be quiet. Hmm, is there an item back here or no? Not this time. Oh, maybe? No? Is there? I forget. Oh, there is. What are you? Lead elixir. Useless. Huh. Oh, look at that. It's spooky. Wherever we are, wherever we are, it's it's a seems to be a higher plane of existence. Shit. Really? God fucking damn it! Oh well. At least I didn't goddamn die. What is this place? 
Oh, I think I know where I am. Hold on. Oh, never mind. This is where I need to go. I wish I wasn't, like, all poisoned, but whatever. Um... Before I head in there, there's a shortcut that I needed to open. Ah oh, yes, thank you. Please make your way down here. They're creepy. I didn't know they had big old eyeballs. It's horrifying. I'll be honest, it does kind of suck knowing that the secret's beforehand already, because then it's not much of a surprise. So here is the... Here's where I killed that guy, so I'm, I'm, I'm literally right at the beginning of the area. Which is real, real neat. I think it is kind of weird how um, elevators work in the Soul series. There's just giant buttons on the ground. I mean, what were what else were they gonna do, right? But still, I think down there is is uh, the other side of the poison, um, the poison lake that I was walking around in, where there's a there's a winter lantern walking around, and winter lantern is that horrible like um, bug creature that. That stole that that stole insight that um, that gives you frenzy by looking at it. Here we are. We made it. And what do we got? We got amygdala. Ooh, it's gonna fuck my shit up. Thought he grabbed me. So I think what I want to do is take out the arms. If I can get up. I was actually really surprised because I remember fighting Amygdala and I beat him on the first try. I never did that ever again. So there you go. not take any damage from the hit, unfortunately. Oh god. When did he do that?
Ugh. That was my opportunity. I blew it. I blew it. <laughs> I did it. I didn't get the crumple on him though. It sucks. It's okay. Oh, and the cool, like, that's an effect that's hard to see actually, but that happens every time you beat a boss. Just a, a rain of blood. Now we're back here. Oh, and he gave me a bunch of Give me a bunch of souls, actually. Just just about enough to level up again. So we're gonna do that. <laughs> and how long are we at now, gentlemen? And possibly ladies? Um, I think we're just about hitting the hour and a half mark. Which means it's just about time to go. Um, but before we do that, I actually wanna... I wanna open up an area because... I want to open up an area so I can get... I, I can get some items. I'm fine with that. Could have used those um, blood items for something else, but oh well. Mm -hmm. So we got access to the upper cathedral ward. Which we're gonna open up the key to. So I remember a long, long time ago where I... Uh, I said there's a door up here where it doesn't mean anything to me right now, it's for later. Well, now it means something to me. And we're gonna go, we're gonna go get it. I just need to, I just need to open up the door so, because, uh, because all the enemies in that area have a high chance of dropping, um, blood chunks. And I need to know Something wrong with her. What a, what say you? So she's just going nuts. I want to get plenty of blood chunks so I can make um, leveling up easier for later. I am definitely strong enough to, to fight in uh, the old Hunter's DLC now. I think. I think I'm good enough now. any healing items for me. Will you? Thank you. Gosh, I haven't gotten to this part of the game in a while. It's definitely strange, I'll tell you that much. Because I remember... I remember Bloodborne, but... The late game stuff gets all hazy for me because of the order that I went at it. And it's and it's different every time I feel like Which is which goes to show how how um how worth it uh, a replay of the game is. Considering that things will change depending on what order you fight the necessary bosses. Because a lot of these bosses are optional. Like, I don't have to go to Kanehurst. I don't have to go fight this or that. Um, although there there is a lot that's, like, you know, required. Of course. Gosh. 
I like that he dies laughing. So here we are. But it all it is all thanks to rolling. The power of the PS4's engine. Not the PS4's engine. Whatever engine they use to make this run on a PS4. Amazing. Charlie be quiet. He he can he can like smell the dog in the heat. And I, I I haven't had time to take him to the to go get a um, spade, but that that responsibility should not fall on me. Now we are at the upper cathedral ward. And here is when we get full full Lovecraftian but look at the first enemy you find is these little things which are stronger than they would appear to be. So let's see how far we can go before we die. Which I don't think is very far. Oh yeah. Oh. Immediately actually. So. These guys are cool. But they're wearing white robes now. Jesus. They're strong. <laughs> slow moving projectiles? I feel so slow in this area. I don't know why that is. things will not I don't think they'll harm you unless you bother them but I could be wrong they do give out very little souls but there is a lot of them and they're all horrifying here we go I don't know at what point I need to get to just so that I can farm um, blood 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 chunks But, but I do know that I don't want to fight the boss in this area. Because it's, it's hard. Also, I don't want to get hit by these things. These, thing, these things seem like harmless, but they're totally not. There's a lot of them. I shouldn't really be going to sleep. I have work in the morning, so oh well. Too much fun blood -borning. My hunger went away, so that's good, I guess. Is this where I want to be at? I don't know. You never get... Well, barking crows never not going to be horrifying. Blending so well with the environment. Oh come on, I just need, I need chunks. My hand hurts. Not well, good signs, I'll tell you that much. Did I miss an entire side here? I might have. Oh, these are all dead. Oh, excuse me. They're pretty weak. Which kind of makes me feel bad. Great Lake. Oh, I know why I want to go up here. But that's for... It's for later. I need to get in there. Some way, somehow. Look, an actual bonfire. Yes. Let, let us take a rest.
Hmm. Let's see. Oh. Shit. How? Still managed to eat me. Huh? So blue elixir makes you invisible, so you can like walk by this area like unannounced. Oh, he got me again. See? See how easy it is to get caught in the traps? And I think he killed me. Yeah, he killed me. What a pain in the ass. So that's this area. <laughs> I guess I should've like... Um... I don't know. Maybe I should've... Snuck up and, and, and did the visceral attack on him, but in any case... Well, we'll end it there. I think we're good for now. I'll, I'll figure out how to get to some blood shards. If anything new happens, I'll, I'll make sure to record it, but otherwise, um, I think that's it for tonight, everyone. Thank, thanks. Thanks for watching this video if you made it this far, and I'll um, we'll see everyone later.